just want to start with congrats on the movie. Uh, it's fantastic. As usual, you're both great in it. And that's all I have. I'm out. I'll see, see you guys later. Right. Take care, buddy. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Took the picture and left. Thank you. Uh, so listen, I'm a huge fan of Soderbergh. You guys have both worked with him uh, before. Uh, what do you think would surprise people to learn about the making of a Soderbergh movie? Uh, it's brevity. Um, the, that he's, he's, he's fast, um, he's succinct, um, but you don't feel like you're missing anything. I think when you go from a Steven Soderbergh movie and work on other projects, I, I know anyway, oftentimes I'm like, why are we spending six and seven hours to get, you know, this two page scene? You know, the, you feel like there's a lot of meandering and people like trying to figure stuff out. And Steven just kind of knows what he wants. And he comes in and he's like, this is all I need. You guys give that to me. And then boom, we move on. Uh, and uh, it takes a minute before you can trust that, that you really have done what you needed to do and that he really knows. But then you see the end product. You're like, oh, yeah, I guess he really did know. I also, um, it, it's really interesting to watch him work in between setups because he's working. He's really working it out. You know, he's not just like, oh yeah, this is what I know. He grinds and uh, and that's really interesting. It, his process is not simple. And uh, and it's nice to see because I think as actors, we're like all kind of like uh, thinking about the next scene that you're doing or the next setup and uh and you're kind of you you got to keep um a constant your concentration level has got to be there but some you know I, I remember looking at steven and he's equally as concentrated and like Cheadle uh said he will get you home early you know he will it, it will be very efficient he's he goes from point a to point b and he ain't he ain't going around it's just yeah. going A to B, A to B. And uh, and that's, once you know that, it's a, it's a pleasure to work with him like that. And you trust him. You trust him when he goes like, hey, I got it. And you go like, are you sure? And he goes, yeah, I got it. It's so interesting because Soderbergh works so fast and has these amazing results. And Fincher works so slow on set and has these amazing results. It's like polar opposite, but they're both brilliant filmmakers. Correct. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, so one of the other things I want to talk about is uh, Ed Solomon's script is fantastic. I love the way that it works in the real world events, while also, you know, with these small time criminals. For both of you, what did you respond to with the script? What are you excited for people to see? Well, I think one of the the most amazing parts about it really is the postscript, you know, the, 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 the outro where you learn uh, of, of what, this script was really kind of designed around, you know, I think people will be uh, interested or, or, or surprised to realize that this was kind of a reverse engineered story um, to, to get that postscript in, you know, that it was about telling people about what the industry was like, what happened with car companies then, um, and what it was doing to the neighborhoods around it, you know, and, and in certain ways, it's like Chinatown. You know, uh, when you're when you find out about the invention of without giving the movie away, what you know, the what the centerpiece of this this whole thing is, what all this drama is around, um, that it's historically accurate and that Ed and Stephen kind of built the story around that to smuggle that in. So you're like, when you think about it, that it was designed in that way, you're like, wow, he made a whole movie, you know, around right. this point and created these characters to tell a story about this thing, to smuggle that information in. And it's a super entertaining and fun and, and great actors. And so again, a testament to his mastery as a filmmaker. The roller coaster of the, of these of the, of the plot of the story and uh, all these different ways of lying, you know, all these different, different, different uh, lies from different characters and uh, how everyone is lying to an extent, you know, that was, that was really interesting how it was put together, orchestrated on the script. And it was really interesting. You can lie with a smile. You can lie with a yell. You can, you can lie with, you know, minimal in a minimal way it's, you know everyone is lying to an extent you know to survive again congrats huge fan of both of your works uh work uh have a fantastic day
Okay. You say that, but then there's no war machine behind you on the shelf. That's cool. That's all right, bro, bro. That's cool. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Right. I have one over there. I, I don't know. 